Today is Wednesday, March 19th. I'm here at uh, Riverbend Park near Jupiter. I've come back to the Cypress Swamp again, but uh, this is a different section of the swamp, one I haven't been to in a long time. Thought I'd give it a try, see what's back here. Water is very clear, fairly shallow. You can see the bottom. Conditions today are pretty well perfect. Not much wind. Looks like we'll have sun all day long. Pretty warm. We had a front come through uh, yesterday morning, but uh, it's been 24 hours and the weather is stabilized. So I've already seen lots of fish on the picnic loop getting here. There were many fish nests, pale circles in the bottom, uh, with many with uh, fish hovering over them. So pretty active so I've got some I've got a good feeling about today today should be pretty good but I've never I haven't fished back in this area for quite some time fish may be a little spooky given how shallow the water is so I'll try to be quiet I'll probably be sticking with the fly rod most of the day see what I can come up with Okay, the first fish of the day, a little bass, came with some salad. I'm back here on, I think, what is called West Lake. I haven't been here in five or six years. Very peaceful back here. Calm, beautiful. Water's kind of shallow. I haven't been seeing too many fish, um, but uh, I haven't explored much of it yet. Let me get this guy back in the water so I can uh, check out some more of these spots back here. Although it's really pretty back here, peaceful, not having much action. Caught another little bluegill, tiny little thing, about four inches. Water is just maybe just a little bit too shallow back on this lake. It doesn't provide enough cover for the bigger fish. So uh, I'm correct at the uh, north end of this lake. There's something called Cross Creek. And according to the map I've got, if I stay on Cross Creek, that will take me straight across to Cowpen Lake, which is the lake I've fished most of the times I've been here and had pretty good luck. So that's the way I'm headed. It was worth coming back here just to give it a try, but uh, for fishing, I think I'll uh, I think I'll stick with Cowpen for today. Just falling along here on Cross Creek on my way to uh, Cowpen Lake when uh, this guy came up and hit the popper. Not real big, but uh, biggest fish I caught so far today. All right, let me keep it up. Well, things are starting to pick up as I'm getting closer to Cowpen. That's a crappie. I didn't even know they had them in this little lake, but uh, they do. Not the biggest crappie I've seen, but I'm glad to catch them. Let me get him back in the water. Switched over to a larger popper to see if I could attract some more bass. Because I had been catching quite a few uh, bluegill and other fish, small fish on the smaller popper. This is a bigger popper I'm using. It's hard to see right now. Covered in moss as it is, but I'm going to be working this uh, shoreline. I'm on the main Cowpen Lake now. Some bigger fish here. Very calm. Really perfect condition, maybe the best conditions uh, that I've had out here in quite some time. All right, let me get back to fishing. Things have really slowed down. Had a couple hits on the larger popper, but uh, it's hard throwing that thing sometimes in the wind, especially when you're sitting down and just wasn't getting enough action on it. So I switched back to the other fly rod and the, the really tiny micro popper. Not getting anything on that either at the moment. I think I'm just getting a little tired. I've been casting for about four straight hours. My arm's just getting a little tired, so I think I'm going to head back towards the main canal and uh, maybe fish 
fish that for a little while, see if there's any any difference over there. I think I pretty much fished this uh, Calpan Lake pretty well today. I had good action for a couple hours, but the last hour I've been slow, so well, let me try someplace different. I'm headed back to the main canal, but I'm just noticing how thick the weeds are becoming. Usually by this time of year, these uh, waterways have dried up and you really can't get a kayak back here. Just not enough water. Uh, there's enough water at the moment, but uh, this, uh, whatever this weed is that's growing in clouds is really starting to take over. And uh, I'm probably going to have to uh, use the uh, paddle all the way back to the canal and not the Mirage Drive. Um, and this has only happened in the last two to three weeks, so couple more weeks from now, this may be wall-to-wall -wall weeds. There may just be no way to get through it. Um, we'll see. Oh, there's a gar. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. There's a, a gar right there. Floating around in these weeds. The fish like the weeds. Oh, here's another one. There he is. Oh, a whole school of them here. The fish like the weeds. I'm sure it provides good cover and nutrients for bugs and other things, but... Uh, not too good for kayaking. Well, I'm back on the main canal. It took a bit of work to get through that uh, slough that was choked with weeds all the way back here, but uh, here I am. I'm a little bit upstream of the picnic loop. I've never come up this far before. Um, I think this is now out of the park. And the uh, canal narrows down considerably. I'm only going to go up a few more feet and then turn around and let the current push me back. Let me fish for another hour or so. It's uh, 20 minutes to 4. Fish for an hour or so and see how it goes. Seen some gators. Seen some otters. Lots of different wildlife today. Fishing hasn't been good for the past couple of hours, but maybe, maybe this last hour will make up for it. It's about 4.30. I haven't had any more action. I pretty much stopped around 1 o'clock. So I'm heading back. I'm here on the main canal and I'm going to make a left turn here at the uh, Picnic Loop Canal and slowly w make my way back to the beach where I can uh, get out the two-wheel cart and roll the kayak back up to my trailer. I may come back here to the main Loxahatchee, but it uh, looks like what I learned today was that the uh, cypress swamp is, is over for the year. Another week or two and it'll just be impossible to get back there with all those weeds, so it'll be probably next fall till I get back there again. But I had some good fishing there this year. That'll be it for today.